Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can place a photo inside text in Illustrator. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create an effect like this which is a piece of text that has a photo behind it. Now the text remains editable throughout this process and you can also move the photo if you need to to get it into the correct position or the most desired position. So to get started I'm just going to close this image so let's just close that and I'm going to create a brand new image and I'm just creating one at a size of about 1200 by 700 points but you can make yours whatever size that you like. Now I'm going to start out by typing my text so I'm going to grab the text tool and we're just going to type stripes and I'm going to do this in all capitals. I'm going to select my text and then I'm going to enlarge it because I want it to be really quite big. I'm also going to choose a good font for this effect. I don't want my font to have skinny letters. It needs to be quite thick and I have a font called Jungle Fever which is pretty good because it's sort of got a jungly look to it and it's also a fairly thick font. So I'm just going to get it. It's Jungle Fever in line. Now it's too big for my documents. I'm just going to size it down a bit. The next step is to go and get the photo to use. Now I have a photo here that I'm just going to drag and drop into Illustrator. It's a fairly small image but that's fine because I'm trying to record at the same time. I don't want anything too big. But I'm going to select the image itself and choose Edit and then Copy. And then I can get rid of the photo and go into my document and just choose Edit and then Paste. And now I'm going to size my photo but before I do so I'm going to actually put it behind the text. So I'm opening up the Layers palette here which I can get to by selecting Window and making sure that Layers has a check mark against it. And I'm going to move the image layer below the text layer and now I'll be able to see the text over the image. So I'm just clicking on the image with the selection tool to select it and now I'm just going to enlarge it. If I hold the shift key it will be enlarged in proportion. Now in some cases that may be important, in other cases it may not. So you just want to determine for your image whether or not the proportional resizing is required. I'm just going to press Control 0 to move everything back so I can see the artboard in the window. So I'm going to place my text pretty much on top of where the interesting stripes are in my zebras. I'm going to select both layers, the text layer here and then shift click on this icon here, or this little circle here to make sure that both my layers are selected. And I'm going to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to choose Object and then Clipping Mask Make or I could press Control or Command 7 and that clips the image to the text and you can see that the black fill in the text has now been replaced by the photo. We could have made our text any colour at all and we would have had the same result. Now these two layers are linked together so whenever I move them the image and the text are moving together. But if we didn't have this perfectly lined up we could open the clipping group here in our layers panel and we could target just the image layer. And by targeting the image layer and using the arrow keys I can move the zebra image into position so I can position it better for the text that I want to use so I can make sure that the stripes are exactly where I want them to be. I could also resize this image if I wanted to. To finish my image I'm going to add a layer with a fill in it. So I could do this by just selecting the rectangle tool and drawing out a rectangle the size of the artboard but I have a script that does that for me so I'm just going to run my script. If you're interested in scripting in Illustrator I have a video about downloading, installing and using scripts in Illustrator and this is one particular script I find very very handy. So now I have a rectangle the size of my artboard and I'm just going to drag it down in the layer stack so that it is below the clipping group. Yeah. 
there it is there. I'm going to target the rectangle and I'm going to fill it with a black color. Now to finish off my text, I'm going to add a white shadow, white sort of glow shadow effect around it. So I'm targeting the clipping group that has my text and I'm going to choose Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow because drop shadows don't have to be dark. By default this was read multiply but I've set the blend mode to screen and I've clicked to make my color white. So I want this white color here. And then I'm going to set a very small blur. The default I think is about five but for this I'm going to set a very small blur and then a very small Y and X offset. Something like one or two points is sufficient for this text and that will give it a slight glow outline. So I'll just click OK and we'll click away from it to see the final effect. You can do this with any text in Illustrator and with any bitmap image. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.